After the depth chart for the football team has been released, the quarterbacks are neck and neck for the starting rotation. And Caleb Carbine said he has confidence in whoever takes the field. We've got some great quarterbacks back there, all three of them. And I, I have a lot of confidence in all three of them. I think any one of them can get the job done. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting this Saturday to see, you know, I feel like we're going to play all three of them are going to get some good reps. While each quarterback has his strong points, one running back shared the difficulty to the interchanging quarterback system they have used in practice. With Silver's in there, you know, we're kind of clicking. We're kind of clicking. Everything's going smooth. You know, and then we got Pruitt in there. So everything's it, it takes a, it takes a minute from going to you know, a taller quarterback and then a shorter quarterback. And while any of the quarterbacks may have stood out from time to time, the offense has seen the improvements needed to make Silvers, Pruitt, or Tidwell a starting quarterback. Well, they're all looking good, to be honest. I mean, coming in, Silvers was uh, you could I guess you could tell was head and shoulders above everybody, but. I guess you can say Dallas and Pruitt have picked it up a lot here lately, and I mean, it's kind of hard to say who you want to be the starter because they all bring different things to the table, but uh, like I said, I feel like whoever Coach Blakeney chooses, I'll be fine with it because I feel like they all can get the job done. And head coach Larry Blakeney also talked about the race and how this is not a new transition from years past. There are several times that uh, we've had to do this, and uh, you know, we have been fortunate enough to be fairly successful in those years. Three-phase football effort, you know, we can, we can win with a new, new quarterback. Amy Alston, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.